The California Delta is often recognized for playing two major roles as a fresh water supply for millions of Californians and hundreds of thousands of acres of productive agriculture, and as a vibrant ecosystem that supports 750 species of plants, fish, and wildlife, making it one of the most ecologically diverse aquatic habitats on the West Coast. But the Delta also serves a third role, as the gutter system for much of the state. The Delta and its tributaries are used to take wastewater and stormwater runoff from all over Northern California out to the ocean. While wastewater discharges are treated to varying degrees, urban stormwater runoff moves directly from the streets and gutters to the delta with no treatment process whatsoever. This urban runoff often contains harmful contaminants including herbicides, pesticides, fuel, and other petroleum products that poison the estuary. Toxicity caused by these contaminants is thought to be a significant contributor to the decline of various species in the delta. Toxic conditions also directly impact plankton and other aquatic food sources integral to the Delta food web. Recently, state and federal regulators have been able to attribute much of this toxicity to the overuse of pyrethroids, a common chemical found in household garden pesticides. In all, about 50% of the pesticides found in Delta waterways can be attributed to urban usage. Homeowners often overapply these pesticides when caring for their lawns, gardens, and flower beds. The excess chemicals are washed away by rain or sprinkler systems into our streets and sidewalks, and ultimately into the delta. Overwatering of our lawns and gardens only adds to the problem. During initial winter storms, toxic pesticides and pollutants that have built up over the summer are released into storm drains. All too often, the runoff from these initial storms can cause massive fish kills in urbanized areas of the delta, where pollutants build up to dangerously high levels. Urban runoff is a known stressor to the delta ecosystem, and must be addressed in any comprehensive solution to the delta crisis. State and local regulators cannot afford to ignore this problem any longer. For more information on this issue, and other stressors affecting the delta, please continue to explore our website at www dot sustainabledelta.com